Take a drive down to your local auto parts store. Go to your paint section and start looking for some Duplicolor metal cast anodized coating. Once you got that, now take off your fuel rail and remove the two 10 millimeter bolts holding on the fuel pressure regulator. Once you got those two bolts removed, don't lose your O-ring underneath the fuel pressure regulator. Take the two 10 millimeter nuts that hold down the fuel injector wires Thread one on, take the other one, and run it up against the other one and lock them together, like so. Now take the bottom nut and back it off so it backs the stud out. Now you can remove the stud. When you look down in here, you can see it's not a through hole, so it's only threaded on that top half, so it doesn't go into the fuel area so you don't have to worry about leaking fuel when you remove these. Now take off your other stud. After locking it down, you can just turn the whole thing out. Now I have a fuel line tuck, so I have to have this special AN fitting that I have on my rail. So this is a special adapter. I'll put it, a link in the description. Now we can clean the rail once everything's been removed. Get you some regular old Scotch-Brite and start going to town on it. Try to take a piece of tape and cover up any opening that fuel will be. Yeah. Look at the top, how clean it looks. Now let's do the rest. Oh yeah, don't forget, make sure you wear some rubber gloves. Alright, so now let's go down to the hardware store and find some wax and grease remover. You can get some acetone, or some paint thinner, or some xylene, or even some denatured alcohol. All of these will remove the wax and grease and allow it to dry quickly so you can paint afterwards. So I bought xylene. What I found out about the xylene though is it's a lot stronger than paint thinner. So make sure you wipe it off really good afterward. I ran a piece of duct tape on the bottom side. According to these directions, you need to prepare the surface, make sure that it's between 60 and 95 degrees outside, and humidity left less than 60%. And then two light coats, followed by one medium coat, apply all the coats within an hour, allow 10 minutes between each coat. Coat number two. Third coat. Put that one on just a little bit too heavy, guys. I don't know if you can see it or not, but you can see where it's not adhering just right.
you enjoyed the fuel rail video, if you enjoyed that one, definitely check out one of these videos right here.